Hi friends, have a look at this attractive macOS customization on your Windows 11 desktop. In this video, I'll be showing you how to do this without stress. Welcome to this channel. Let's jump straight to it. The first thing we're going to do right now is to hide these desktop icons. Just right click on your desktop, go to view and select show desktop icons. So now we're going to change this wallpaper. In this video, we'll be using a Mac OS dynamic wallpaper. Okay. Now we head on to Microsoft store. So you're going to search for win dynamic, win dynamic to stop and enter. Click on here to open it, open it right here. Now I'm going to continue the installation. Just click on OK. And we have all the options here. And we're going to choose this one that says use Windows location service to determine times. OK, just click on OK. So now if you look at the left side here, you have many options to choose from. You have a light wallpaper, and you have a dark wallpaper. During the day, you're going to have a light wallpaper at night you will have a dark wallpaper so it changes so now we're going to choose one of these i'm going to go for the ventura okay just highlight on that now click on download now select apply now as we can see we have this beautiful wallpaper you see my time right here it says 4 36 a.m so it changes according to the time of the day okay now we're going to move on to the next step for this we're going to add on to a browser uh, links will be in the description guys so here we have just two options right here for the first one is Remeter. i'm just going to download it just click on that after that go on to the next one i'm going to download from this drive here just click on download all right that's it about that now we're going to add on to the file location which is our download now first i'm going to install Remeter. just double click on that select ok next install if you get any prompt just click on yes and select finish all right i'm just going to x on this right click on this on load skin and do this for everything right here right click on load skin right click on load skin now we're going to add on the remeter skin so go ahead back to the download folder here we have the rm skin just right click on it and extract all select extract now you're going to open this folder of all these three options we're going to install this apple os redesign okay a big shout out to link vegas for this double click on that select install all right here we have this menu bar but we don't have the dock yet so we're going to go right here expand this to open rain meter just select this rain meter icon up here just expand this you're just going to expand this dock highlight on dock.ini then click on load minimize this now as we can see we have this mac os dock you can drag it down here now we have to hide this taskbar to do that just go right here on the taskbar right click on it and go to taskbar settings scroll down here on the taskbar behaviors just expand this check on automatically hide the taskbar highlight on that now as you can see the taskbar is not here anymore I'm gonna close this so while you're not using your taskbar it's hidden so when you navigate down here your taskbar reappears this allows you to alternate between your windows taskbar and this mac os dock so now we're going to the next step go back to download folder okay and we're going to click on this monterey just double click on that select install Now this is Monterey settings. Okay. Now we're going to add on widget to this windows desktop. All you have to do is to toggle on what you need. First of all, I'm going to start with this clock. Just toggle that on. I'm just going to bring it down here. We'll deal with the arrangement later. Next one is the calendar. Toggle that on, drag it to the right side here. Music to the right volume. All right. Okay guys, before we start arranging, I'm going to make little changes on this widget. Just go on to appearance. First, you have to make sure this is on blur. It's going to be on blur by default anyway. So just in case you don't have this blur effect, make sure to turn on your transparency effect. Okay. And now we're going to change the widget size, expand this, change this from 75 to 65. 
65 then tap on enter okay so we'll proceed to arrange this okay i'm going to x on this first drag this to the left and for this calendar i'm just going to right click on it and select white i'm going to do the same for music select white for the speakers i'm just going to right click on it and set to medium okay so very easy design guys very simple and not complicated at all just uh, try to centralize it all right this is looking pretty cool guys and now we have one more rainmeter skin to install just go right back to downloads for the last one here, we're just going to double click on this dust particles. Just double click on that and click on install. Minimize this. Then we're going to add them back to Rainmeter, okay? Just expand this and go right back to Rainmeter. So we're going to expand this visualizer folder. Do that again. Highlight this dot visualizer.ini, then select load. As I speak, you can see that there's something happening right here talking about dust particles. But there's a little problem. You can't click on your settings tap on your windows key just tap on your windows key then go back again and select remeter here change this settings okay from do nothing you change to hide so whenever you're working on your desktop this visualizer will not interrupt let's minimize this beautiful so while you play the music you're going to have this movement all around your screen which is so unique and pretty cool and whenever you idle just leave your cursor on the player and you have your volume you can control the volume right here to increase and to reduce it i hope this video helped you if it did do well to like this video and subscribe to this channel also turn on your notification so you get notified when i post content like this have a nice day and peace out.